Good morning. My name is Georgie Newbury and I run Common Farm Flowers. Here is a floristry and flower farming business here between fashionable Bruton and up and coming Wink Hanton in lovely southeast Somerset. And today we're going to have a little chat about dahlias. <gasps> Be still my beating heart. Now I am finally taking my dahlias out of the polytunnel where they've been shooting since the end of March and it's taken them two months to get this far. Uh, altogether I have about 250 and this is just a little example and you can see some of them, the ones at this end, are doing really well. These are peach pom-pom, they're a very straightforward uncomplicated kind of dahlia and some of them are only just shooting now. So don't worry if your dahlias are looking a bit uh, as if they are not very enthusiastic. We've had such a cold spring and they really probably will come. So I'm going to put these in the cold frame for a week to so they can strengthen up and learn to handle actual weather before planting them out. It is the single most beautiful morning. And if I were an ordinary gardener, I would definitely be thinking about planting my dahlias in this patch. Here I have had bulbs flowering and as you can see I've got salvias and foxgloves but mostly my flocks all the way along there coming along and um, there's lots of verbena bonariensis and that astonishing bronze fennel will be really useful. But this would be a lovely place for dahlias because it's sheltered, it's sunny, uh, it's close to water. Obviously being a fool and also needing to com grow commercial quantities, I'm not going to plant my dahlias here. But if I were you, I would think this was the absolute perfection for a dahlia patch. Can you see the buttercups on the other side? Aren't they heaven? That's called the Jilly Orchard because um, my mum, Googie, gave us the trees for that little patch and her name is Jilly. Now this is where all the dahlias are being put just to get used to real life and sunlight. I haven't quite got enough room for them, <laughs> but it's always the way. I've got, these are cold frames um, that go all the way up there. And uh, they are very roughly knocked together with wood and, they're just simple boxes, which Fabrizio has made years and years ago. And they are in fact incredibly useful, despite their not looking terribly five star. Uh, you needn't spend a million pounds on your garden if you don't want to. You can always just knock out something that's suitable for you. I'm a big fan of people not spending a vast amount of money when they don't need to. So this is a very efficient way of just giving the dahlias somewhere to harden off a bit. If it were, st if it were a bit earlier in the season and I had a threat of frost, I could just fling a bit of fleece over the front of these cold frames to protect them in the night but it is in fact the 30th of May so hopefully we'll be all right. Normally I get my dahlias out on around the 15th of May but we've had such a cold spring and we have actually had a couple of nasty frosts so they've stayed in the tunnel for much longer than they would normally. Um, anybody who knows me knows I have very strict timetable for how I arrange my working year uh, but the weather will come along and ruin that timetable. Just while I'm here, I'm going to talk about the weeds growing everywhere. Look at the nettles. <laughs> uh, and that's willow herb. Um, the point of what we do here at Common Farm is that we work in the wildlife. This is a nature garden. It's grown so that there's plenty of room for uh, for bees and butterflies and all the other people who would live in a place like this. And so all we do is carve out the space that we need to run Common Farm Flowers, which pays for it all. We don't over-garden. We're not obsessively tidy. I will kick down the nettles so that I can actually reach the potting bench. Um, 
But equally, I will leave enough nettles so that there's plenty of room for butterflies to lay their eggs. So when you see our videos and you think, God, that's untidy. It's not really, it's meant to look, it's not meant to look untidy. It's meant to make space, to leave space for the wildlife, as well as our business. There we are, lecture over. This is the very sophisticated way that I work out how much space I've got for my dahlias. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 20, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 45, 51. No, 58. So it's a week later and I'm laying out the dahlias in their places. In between, they've got sweet william, various biennials, uh, some glads coming up here. And then in will go the dahlias. And I put them out at about a three per square meter pace spacing. And um, sometimes we have to jam them in a bit. And I will admit, there will be a bit of jamming this year. Anyway, we'll see. Um, and they're going in meter-wide beds, uh, which are about eight years old and have been much mulched with uh, Lakeland Gold from Dalefoot Compost. And as you can see, we have just tilled directly through the tulips. So they are taking the place of the tulips. Better late than never. They're going in about a week late, but we did have a frost every night through April, which is unusual. So you remember when there were tulips here, not so long ago? Now there are dahlias. And so long as it rains at night and the sun shines during the day, as our friend Mark Diacono would say, all will be well. Quick walk across the beds and you'll see we have Little glads coming up there. Then <laughs> the set of foxgloves and sweet william and grass, or layer, self sown, and another couple of beds of dahlias. And somehow I'm going to have to fit another 50 in this space. But hey, let's not complain. Lovely afternoon. So I hope you've enjoyed my little chat about dahlias. They are the great love of my life and probably even more than sweet peas and roses, the reason I do this job. Um, but now they're in, all we have to do is water them in and hope the pigeons don't pull them up. And soon I'll be showing you the flowers. Thank you for coming. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon and you'll be told when we have